السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته How are you guys? Are you fine? I'm Jana Ahmed Abdul Sadiq and today we will talk about the compound microscope So let us to know the parts of compound microscope and how we can use it So let us start Compound microscope is, has multiple lenses The objective lens and the eyepiece lens that the objective lens typically 4x, 10x, 40x or 100x and then the eyepiece lens that is typically 10x and eyepiece lens is near to the eye then the uses of compound optical microscope it is used in the field of science and scientific research we can research very small organisms that cannot be seen with the naked eye It is used in the field of forensic medicine and analytical medicine. We can see by the compound microscope the blood disease such as leukemia, anemia and others by bringing a speaking and adding a specific type of dyes that enable a microscope lens to enlarge, see and digest stinks. Here we will talk about the compound microscope and its parts. So let us to start the first thing which is the eye piece that it's always near to the eye of the human that we can like use to magnify the image and it's usually 10x. Then the second thing it's revolving nose piece that it's like having the objective lenses. The objective lenses are four lenses that it is medium, lower and high and also the third which is oil immersion and all of this we will talk about it afterwards. The second thing it's the arm that is carry the microscope. Then the stage that supports the glass, the glass and contains the specimen being observed. Then the stage clip that it is hold the slide in place. Then the coarse focus that moves the tube up and down and to produce a right focus of the image. And there is also a fine focus that you can also move the tube up and down but by very small amount and produce a sharp focus of the image. Then the rack stop. The rack stop is an adjustment that determines how close the objective lens can get the slide. Then the illuminator. The illuminator have another name like it is the light resource. Then the diaphragm that adjusts the amount of light passing through the stage. Then the pace which is the bottom of the micros uh, microscope and used for support it. So we talk about the parts. Let us to talk about the parts of the compound microscope in a practical way. Here's the ocular lenses and the objective lenses. Here's the body tube, the arm, and here is the pace. Then here's the light source, and also the coarse focus. And here there is a fine focus, also the smaller one. And here's the objective lenses. The fourth, first one, the red, which is 4x, and also here's the yellow, which is 10x. Then the blue one, which is 40x. Then here's the oil emission, which is 100x. Then here's a stage and the stage clips and also there is a pole that we can move the stage clips up and down, right and left. Now here, if you come to see the diaphragm that about the light and up here, it's named the noise piece. Then this, it is a compound microscope. And this compound microscope presented by Jenna. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Mr. Emmanuel. Goodbye.